So I just got back from watching Expendables 4, literally movie ended about an hour ago for me, and I am in disbelief of the atrocity I just witnessed on screen. This is not going to be one of my typical reviews. I need to just regurgitate everything that this movie showed me so you can get an ounce of understanding of why I'm kind of pissed. So if you're someone who's waiting to watch Expendables and you just don't want it to be spoiled for you, I'm sure there's other reviews that can tell you just how bad it was without spoiling everything. But okay, the Expendable franchise. These are not the movies we go expecting to be masterpieces. We don't go in thinking, this might be best movie of the year, y'all. Keep your hats on and make sure they're one of those French hats. That's the only hat allowed in Expendable Theater. Is that a French hat? I, I don't know where it originates from. So when they announced a fourth movie coming up, I thought, Eh, okay, Let, let's give it a shot. Let's see what you got for us. Knowing fully well, it's gonna be a bad movie, but it'll be entertaining. I'll have fun. You're throwing Megan Fox in there. She's doing these sexy fight scenes with Jason Statham. Okay, let's see that. Sylvester Stallone, charismatic guy. He's always just a little bit of fun to watch either way. And then there's always them random cameos of assorted well-known people that you would hope are old action stars, but fourth film in the franchise, we're now going to... Hip hop artist 50 Cent. I do respect you, 50 Cent. I take you to the candy shop. And as of me filming this, it's a Sunday night. So the movie came out a couple days ago, and I was hearing from all my other movie peeps out there this film is terrible, that it is awful. It's possibly one of the worst movies of the year. And I was like, weren't we kind of expecting it to be bad? What levels did they stoop down to to a film you're already expecting to be meh turn out to be really? really bad. Well, let me just begin listing off for you. For one, where did the budget go for this movie? I'm not kidding. We need to get some accountants in the room of how this movie was made because there is no way every cent and budget of this film went towards its set pieces and action scenes. I was befuddled and bamboozled into thinking this was a Hollywood production. The effects that go on in this movie laughable, insane, and I'm not even talking about on the levels of like the Flash movie or something like that where you can see, yeah, that effect right there probably cost a million dollars, doesn't look great, but you know it cost a million dollars. Expendables 4 has sets, effects, green screens that look like they belong to corn sets, okay? And Johnny Sins must have just got done on that battlefield and then it was the Expendables turn, okay? They signed that sheet on the hallway and said, Johnny Sins, one o'clock, and the Expendables at two o'clock. Make sure you're available and clean up afterwards. I really could not believe it. There are effects in here that rival Asylum Productions. You know those rip-off movies that just come out every other year and look like they were made in someone's basement? That's what Expendables 4 is, and you're like, none of the other movies feel that way. Sure, they were never, like, top-grade visual quality, but... The explosions, the fight scenes, the gunfire, all that stuff usually felt to like a standard level where it's like, oh, this is fun to watch. Look at him kick. Look at him flip. Oh, that guy just got sliced in the neck. All of that out the window here. And really the entire production feels that way. It's even more jarring seeing people I respect in this movie just be part of this. Like Jason Statham. Like I maybe you're good buddies with Sylvester Stallone. And I bet you Sylvester loves these movies. Because like I said, it's an excuse to wear that lovely French hat. Is it French? Have you looked it up now? I need to know. But the dialogue is horrible. The punchlines and jokes set up here, all of them fall flat. You honestly get like secondhand embarrassment watching this movie. Realizing that was supposed to be a gag. Uh, that was supposed to be a joke. Oh, they even left a space of silence in there hoping the audience was laughing and I'm like one of the only five people here. And again, I know we don't expect that much from the Expendable franchise, but the previous three movies did not feel this way at all. It did not feel like it was an amateur fan film. I always admire the premise and the idea of the Expendable films. Who cares about these group of mercenaries that have to go on random missions? The whole idea was, remember these old action stars that each had their own movie and were iconic and famous at one point? Maybe it's a little too late, but we're gonna group them up like they're the Avengers and just have fun with them and that's really what it was it was like oh look Arnold standing next to Sylvester oh they got Jet Li in there now oh freaking Chuck Norris shows up who else is gonna be in there Jackie Chan it was almost like a low-key hall of fame for action stars and that was just the fun you needed to have 30 minutes into this movie they blow it 
I'm that far into the movie and I'm already not enjoying it. And I'm thinking this is like such a downgrade from the previous three films. And then they do the insane and kill off Sylvester Stallone's character. He dies in this fiery explosion of a plane crash and we zoom in on a burnt up corpse body and the next scene is his mutilated hand with his ring still on, given the finger, put in a bar while everyone sat and drink into his death going, Barney didn't deserve this, like what? What kind of decision was that? And that wasn't even like the sad part of the movie. This was the first Expendables film where you really just felt the old factor in some of these stars, specifically Sylvester and Dolph Lundgren. There's like an ongoing joke with Dolph Lundgren's character that he's going blind and that he's not no longer a good sniper. And it was supposed to be kind of funny. It was just like, why are we watching these people? These guys do not belong in action movies anymore. You had your time, my friend. And as soon as like Sylvester is just gone and dead from the movie, I, my, my entire interest in this film, just done. Cause like, at least I had the charisma of Sylvester, you know, trying to be funny and then talking with Jason Statham, throwing one liners back and forth. There's at least something fun there and keeping my attention because the mission is here, uninteresting. The fight scenes, just dull. Just to kind of put it in perspective of you, how quickly this movie takes a nosedive, after Sylvester Stallone character dies, Jason Statham gets a job as a security guard for a social media influencer. You, f you felt how your butt just kind of clenched out of cringe right there? Imagine how I was seeing that in the theater and my popcorn in my hands. It was clenching. And I hate saying that because you have someone like Tony John here who I thought was going to become someone big in Hollywood, okay? I watched his movies, The Protector, way back when when they came out. And I was like, dude, this guy's the next Jackie Chan. And his time never really came. And his talent just feels so underutilized. And I don't even know what to comment about with Megan Fox is you were expecting her to be a standout. Not really, but I'll tell you, as soon as Barney dies, she's the leader of the team. This is your first movie in, Megan Fox. You have not proven to us why you should lead the legendary team of the Expendables. I was so dreading it. If this wasn't my job, guys, I kid you not, I would have walked out like 10 to 15 minutes after Sylvester Stallone dying because it just did not hold my attention. And you would think Jason Statham would be good enough on his own. But again, Jason Statham's talents are being wasted here, man. Go back to another Transporter or another Crank movie, my friend. So really, I'm just sitting there in the theater trying to enjoy my popcorn, thinking about other things I have to do throughout the week because I'm just not invested in the movie at this point. And <laughs> oh, they get you. They throw a little twist your way. Whoa! By the end of the film, when they're wrapping up with the mission that I didn't even bother explaining to you what it was, because do you can you remember what the missions were for the last three movies? No, you don't. It gets revealed that Sylvester Stallone actually didn't die, shows up at the last minute to save Jason Statham, and he's like, well, how did you do that? I saw your burnt up body. He grabbed a guy he was having beef with in a bar and straight up murdered him. A guy whose only sin in the movie was beating him in thumb wrestling. Not arm wrestling, thumb wrestling. He deserved a crispy burning death for that. Let's end this franchise. Don't make another one. And it's so stupid because it's not even that like I was sad that Sylvester Stallone died. I, I had no emotion for it, even though during the scene they played up so much music. And even when he's revealed to be alive, I'm not happy about it. If anything, I'm more pissed because I'm like, you were out there this whole time. And you could have been part of the movie and made it maybe 2% more entertaining just by being in it. And you decided not to be? I'm done with this series. In fact, the fourth movie doesn't even exist. I'll stick to the cheesy, dumb fun of the first three. I will never in my life watch Expendables 4 again. This is where I throw it off to you guys. If you were someone who checked out Expendables 4, were you disappointed even knowing you weren't expecting a masterpiece? And if you're someone who wound up liking the movie, 